Okay, we're going to do an over the shoulder video of a Bose Sound Dock Bluetooth upgrade using the Inexus BC6 board. Um, hopefully, you can see what's happening. Our cameraman is on holiday. Everyone's been asking for this, so I've been lumbered with the job of just turning out a quick video to show you how to do it. If you look on the Invivo resources on the website, then there is a very detailed video on how to change um, the connector board and the BC6 board, uh, the procedure for changing to upgrade for Bluetooth is pretty much the same. Here's the board there, it's got the Bluetooth antenna, usual I um, iPhone, iPod socket, the ribbon connector. So the whole procedure is very similar except that this board supports Bluetooth and there's a separate video that shows you the features and what can be done and how you can play and charge at the same time um, to, to Apple devices and of course the, the Bluetooth has the advantage that uh, you can charge your iPhone on here but you're not limited to, uh, to Apple devices you can use the Bose Sound Dock with any of the uh, more modern smartphones so Samsung or Sony Ericsson or whoever you want um, you don't have to use an iPhone anymore. So I'll quickly run through this, very quickly. So put that to one side. We've got our tool range over here. Take the, uh, the Torx driver, remove the three screws in the base, as per the other video. Again, if you want to do this in a more detailed way, um, I'm not going to slow down here. I'm going to do it quite quickly, just to show you really the scope and how much is involved in actually upgrading to Bluetooth on a Bose Sound Dock. So this is a Bose Sound Dock original. Pull the ribbon out, disconnect as in the other video. Remove the overlay. Slice through the pins. Go and be careful. Slice the tops off these little pegs. Again it's explaining how to do this in the other video. I'm not going to hang about here because I want you to get bored. I'm sure it's cut flush. They're like little mushrooms, these things. Ideally, you'd be using a sharper knife than I have here. Once you've done that, oh, there's one missing. One still intact. The final one, once you've done that the board will come off. You can throw this away, this is no longer required. Um, just check the tops of your pegs to make sure that they are round. And sometimes when they melt they flow over one way, so sometimes you'll find them leaning over like a tree in a very strong wind, in which case you need to trim them back vertically. Um, for some reason black docks are worse than white docks for this particular problem. So I'm just, I'm just trimming off the extra bits of mushroom head it's been left on there because I haven't sliced them cleanly when I've originally removed the heads. You can see that one there is, I'll offer that one up to you, you can see that one's a bit um, splayed at the top. Right, okay, so here we go. Pegs all trimmed, pretty good. Make sure there's no foreign objects in there. Take the BC, the Nexus B6, BC6 board, slot it onto the pegs, and you can see it's most important that this sits down flush. You can hear it clicking down, so it's those little pegs are clicking into those holes. And if you look here, I hope I'm holding this right place, there shouldn't be any gap here or here. And if there is, the board is sitting slightly high, then volume controls will press up on the underside of the volume button, and you'll end up with the volume going up and down sporadically. So there it is, it's sitting in position now. Um, every board should be ordered or should come with a protective foam overlay, which slots over the top. Hold it in position like that in your hand. Take your dock. like so, bend the ribbon over, 
disengage these two, this locking collar. Bend the ribbon over slightly. This is awkward here because I'm holding it in a position that you can see. Normally you would have it in a slightly more comfortable position than this. In fact, what I need to do is just gently pull that ribbon out a little bit further and make it a little bit more deflated. It's fully in and I need to take my, loop, my screwdriver ease in the pegs. That's it, it's locked back into position. Now we can gently hold it back, put your fingers through here, all explained in the other video again. Feed the cable back under whilst holding the overlay in place. And there you have it, it's back in position. You can see it's nicely arranged at the front as well. So quickly pop your three screws back in. One. finally number three okay so that is how you fit your Nexus BC6 Bluetooth upgrade for the Bose Sound Dock